It's a 60 inch forestry mulcher for an excavator. It's carbide teeth on it. The bearings on the ends float in oil bath. Um, they should be checked. Make sure the oil is in them and should be checked every time it's used. <coughs> um, TMG sells the same unit for $25,000 plus tax and shipping with a different paint job. Uh, Fecon also sells this unit with a different paint job for $40,000. Uh, this one is only $17,500 cash out the door. The push bar is right here. It has to be bolted up here. There are the bolts. It is a brand new complete unit ready to rock and roll. I have another one that fits a skid steer right there. It comes complete with a hydraulic oil cooler. Pressure gauge. You see that pressure gauge start to run into the red. It means you're trying to bite into the tree too hard. You need to back off a little bit. It's a three hose unit. High flow. Comes complete. With the flat face couplers ready to go. It weighs a little over 1,500 pounds. It's recommended to be used with over 75 horsepower. Runs 24 to 32 gallons per minute. The pins that are on it, it says fit a Cat 325D, uh, but it will fit other machines. Um, and so I'll post uh, or I'll mention the dimension of the pins in just a second as I'm measuring them. All right, first thing is I'll give you the pin diameter. Okay, the pin diameter is 3.35 inches or 3 and 17 30 seconds or 89.79 millimeters. So, could be 90 millimeters. And that's the diameter of these pins. Next is I'll give you the center to center dimension. So center of pin to center of pin is 19 inches. And now we'll do the spacing between these collars. Now these collars are removable, which means you could put a bigger pin in here if you needed to, or a smaller pin. Uh, you would just take that collar or bushing out and, and put the size bushing that you need. And that holds true for both the upper and the lower. So I'll give you the spacing between here. And then since these are removable, I'll also include the spacing between here. And then lastly, we'll get the spacing to the very outside. But I don't think that's a relevant number for how this mounts. Okay, from between the collars is roughly 14 inches. From here, the black part here is about 16 and a quarter and the outside dimension from here the black part not the pin from here to here and the black part is about 22 and I believe that's all the information you need so I've given you the pin diameter between ear spacing and pin, pin center to center